so guys the new free door has been launched it is called fender studio and people are talking about it everywhere so i had to try it out for myself is it really that good of a door or it's just overhyped let's find out so when you load up fender studio you're gonna get this interface you have this couple options i'm gonna start with new project so click on new it will bring you this pop-up add track options you have four options in here vocals guitar bass and others i'm gonna just go ahead and click on vocals you can also change names in here you can change colors from here let's go ahead and click on click on ok and it will give you this empty track obviously doesn't have no audio on it so let's just put some audio on it and to put audio it is really simple all you have to do is just drag and drop it on the session drag and drop and it will be right here and you have a couple of options in here you can copy Control c it will copy Control v it will paste in this section if you click on add you can add any instruments from here and at this top you can actually zoom in and zoom out just like apple studio in here if you go in this little section you're gonna get the zoom in view of this entire audio so in here you can do a couple of stuff let me show you first of all you can do fade in to your mouse on this side and it will fade in the audio and you can fade out from this side you can control the volume from here couple options in here speed ups and stuff like that all this good stuff if you go in this little tree menu you can actually click on this arrange track section and this is gonna open up a section in here you can right click on it and click on rename you can arrange the songs from here if you go in this section right here it is gonna open up some plugins on this track you can select this individual track from here or here and it will bring you this in this section you have a couple of options right here you have this plugin called compression plus eq if you click on it it is gonna bring the same window but you have more flexibility in here you can zoom in and zoom out you can stretch it you have the preset tabs in here whole bunch of presets if you like to edit your audio with your eyes you can do that or you can be more technical and use this knobs for you know mid highs and lows and keep in mind this is for uh, compression plus EQ so the compression in this section and you have EQ on this section so these are the EQ and this is the compression if you sign in you're gonna get 16 mixer enabled for unsigned one you're gonna have just seven I believe or eight free mixer tracks really simple DAW it is not for professional music production a quick software to record your stuff this is best suited for guitarist or bassist or some vocals you can't expect to make entire you know music production like FL Studio or Ableton Live you can expect that from this software not just yet and this is just uh, version 1 and I'm really hoping that they are gonna come up with lots of cool updates and this this r looks really promising to me at this point the user interface is solid it's really simple it's really easy to understand anyone can load this software up and start doing their thing without having to have this music production knowledge so far I really like this software a lot I'm really excited to see what they will bring in the future. So yeah guys that is pretty much it for a demo of this software and I really apologize for not being able to show you the sound for some reason I've tried everything it won't record my audio so even if I play the sound it is not recording by my screen recorder so I'm really sorry about that and I really hope this video helps the link will be in the description if you want to go try it out and I'll see you in the next video guys peace I'm out.